What is up, Scar Knight? Bringing you Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Part 36. In the last part, we got started in our Sevi Island journey after capturing a total of 60 Pokemon, which took forever, but you guys might have not noticed because it was like sped through in three minutes. And I have to apologize yet again because I had a turn Nuzlocke mode off. I know that doesn't make sense to some people, but I only did it to further the story. And, uh, it was a bit weird. And, like, Perry died a couple times, and I just kept playing because I'm all like, well, I, all I need Perry to do is just evolve. I'm never gonna use him in a team. Not even if... Even if it's down to one Pokemon, it has to be really, really bad for me to use him. But, uh, Regardless, I put him in hell. I think I pointed it out um, in the episode that the times that Perry died because he got pursuit trapped and then other stuff happened. But I don't. I do believe no other Pokemon died. None of the core member, none of the team core members died at all. But uh, in the last episode, we did get the Ruby and we didn't do a party recap. But that's because we only have four party members and uh, we put two other Pokemon members in the team. But the reason I say four team members and, and the two other team members is because it's not solidified. I haven't really decided if I'm going to keep them in the team because there's going to be more Pokemon upcoming, especially in this episode. But uh, for now, I'm going to skip introducing Gray and Rocky because I'm going to introduce the actual Pokemon, which is Suicune. Docile Berry Forest, I'm going to save the actual intros of what I usually tell them because this is the after game of course. So pressure, pressure ability, not pressure, whatever I said. Surf Aurora, Beam Calm Mine, and Gust. Next Pokemon is Goldilocks, Rash Nature, a normal type holding the person berry for some reason. Guts, ability, and Strength, Brick Break, Earthquake, and Aerial Ace. Zero, Water Ice type holding the black glasses, ser serious nature. Thick Fat Ability and Surf Headbutt Sheer Cold, Sheer Cold, Sheer Cold, a nice beam, even though I said I wasn't going to do that, but oh well. Executor, or Executor, as some people uh, mistakenly call him. Chesto Berry, Hasty Nature, got him as a token Pokemon. Chlorophyll Ability with Giga Drain, Hypnosis, Psychic, and Light Screen. Now the reason I'm saying this kind of quickly more than usual is because I really, really, really want to make this episode short because I have a funny feeling this episode is going to be long just like the others because I always want to make a goal of making these episodes shorter but I see that in literally every series but uh, as you can see we got more options now it's 4 island and there's 5 island, 6 island and 7 island so we're going to start off with 4 island I really don't know which way I'm supposed to go but I assume it's numerical order so we'll go with 4 island next Oh look, it's uh, Teal. Hey Ashy boy! Hey Crimson! What are you doing here in the Sevi Islands? You should quit copying me, you know. Uh, you went to one island, and I guess I did kind of copy it. I went directly to one island, and I even said the hint to the hint over and over and over. Anyways, I already got- I, I already got my Pokemon egg, so I'm done with this island. That That's literally what you came here for. How did you know this Pokemon egg? Are you reading the guide too? I'm just kidding, I'm not reading any guide. Hey, I bet you don't even know about Pokemon eggs. You'll never fill your national Pokedex that way. By the way, I saw someone we both know on this island. Why don't you go look around if it makes you curious? Me? I don't have the time to waste. Be smelling ya. Okay, you need to stop smelling me, Teal. I can hear leaf blowers going outside. I, I thought my complex already finished with that. So, uh, hopefully they don't continue. And I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get a Pokemon this way. Yeah, the current's much too fast. I don't get that at all. Can I just fish my damn encounter? That's all I want. That's all I want. I don't think I have... I could give Rock Smash, actually. Because for some reason, uh... What's-its-face? Uh, Marowak has Tail Up and Growl. Well, actually, he has Leer. I replaced it. Um, either way, though, I want to teach it. Just briefly, I'll probably remove it. So, I'm gonna teach Gray this. Uh, maybe next time I'll teach him, I'll just get rid, of, get rid of Growl. That's more likely the least I'll use. But I'm not gonna use the other ones anytime soon. Uh, but this episode... I 
we have to find this other gemstone for Celio to get his machine up and running. But we don't know where the gemstone is. He just says somewhere... Is that a third duo over there? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he says somewhere on this island, is this item worth it? It's a star piece. Actually, it is kind of worth this for money. And uh, even though we defeated the Nuzlocke, I just want to continue the story and we'll continue the Nuzlocke till we face the champion again because they're going to have higher levels. Uh, there's probably no reason for me to heal my Pokemon actually because I did in the last episode. Um, actually we could get the encounter. There's a surf spot right here. Do I have enough Pokeballs? I assume I do because I've been pretty good with that and I also have a Master Ball. Alright, I need this Leaf Blower Man to stop blowing leaves. So, our encounter for Four Island. No other place but Four Island. This Four Island encounter will be... Lombre. I don't believe I caught that Pokemon, but it is one of the Pokemon in the Pokemon Mansion I was worried I was gonna get. Actually, now that I think about it, I think he was the first time I got him. And actually, accidentally caught him, or I uh, killed him with the Master Ball. Or, oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, oh. In my head, I'm thinking everything I'm seeing. Because <laughs> I saw Master Ball, I was like, I hit him with the Master Ball. No, I hit him with the Shadow Ball, is what I meant to say. In the Pokemon Mansion, I tried to turn in my legend, uh, my legendary token, and I got this thing, and uh, I actually got my uh, my encounter there with a different legendary token by catching the Delcat. So, at least if I caught this one and I caught the other one, hopefully no more other Pokemon will magically come out of nowhere if I ever have a legendary token again. It lives at the water's edge where it is sunny. It sleeps on a bed of water... water grass? It sleeps on a bed of water grass. You mean algae, perhaps. I don't know. By day and becomes active at night. So it's nocturnal. It never is it's established to me that it was nocturnal. Maybe it did in Sun and Moon and I wasn't paying attention. It's a girl, but I'll just name it the same as I normally would. I'll call it Samba de Amigo. Or I guess Samba de Amiga in this case, since it's a girl. So that's what I'll call it, Samba. I guess I could have called it uh, Merengue or something. <laughs> Maybe next time. I'll just call it Samba for right now. So this is the daycare place. We did catch a Ditto, but I did release it because he was in an illegal encounter based on the Nuzlog mode off just to get 60 Pokemon. I had 36 canceled Pokemon. And I did have 50 Pokemon in total I, somewhere around there that I counted when I looked at my PC. So, uh... I wasn't even 60 if I, even if I wanted to, I had to evolve a couple Pokemon either way. So any other stuff that I have to get? There's a Pokeball over there. Um, what's in here actually? I probably shouldn't waste my time in houses that wouldn't benefit me anything. Ready? Boing. We're having a body slam match to see who wimps out first. If you were to join us, you'd be squashed like a bug though. You know what? I don't know if I... Sure, man, sure. I mean, I could believe you. I don't want no body slam after he told me that. He's basically called me a punk. They're boing, we're awfully heavy. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this house. Yeah, with your guys' uh, over, uh, over eager Twinkie eating habits might just crush me, so. I guess I would believe you. So, Pokey Egg. Maybe they just want me to talk to the daycare man, and that's about it. So, there's a Stardust. Oh yeah, I guess I could sell these. I could buy some Great Balls. That would help. What's this? Ooh, chili! I made a slushy with the ice I shaved inside Ice Fall Cave. It's chili and tasty. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go sell these items and I'm also gonna... I don't know why I just did that right there. And, um... I'm also going to just check with the daycare man because I have a funny feeling that the daycare man will give me some type of egg. I'm the daycare man. I help take care of the precious Pokemon of trainers. If you'd like me to raise your Pokemon, I have a word with my wife. All right, let's go talk to the wife. I saw a Psyduck outside. I'm the daycare lady. Uh, we can raise Pokemon for you. Would you like to raise one? No. Okay, fine then. Come again. That's, that's all you had to say. All right. Um... So, is, is there... what about you? 
Luckily the ton of stickers, I wish I could show them off. Oh, I see you go to the right place! Oh no, look, see, see, these are my stickers! Stickers! Look how many I got! I bet you want some! I bet you do! I'll give you a sticker if you can tell me if you send the glass and let yourself! What would you do to brag about? Hall of Fame? Oh, wow, you made it into the Hall of Fame! I'm, I'm the champion, in fact. That's pretty good, yep! I'll give you one of these! Hall of Fame sticker from my trainer card. Oh, hi! The, the, no, we're, we're done bragging here. I'm so confused. I thought that the there is a Pokemon egg that I am aware of. Are these dolls? <laughs> Stuff Pokemon dolls galore. So look, there's Zero, and then there's the Pikachu I refuse to catch, and then there's Doctor Quack over here, and then there's the Legal Mon that I caught, and then there's uh, Brawly. I evolved him with the Moonstone. I'm not gonna use him though. All right. I guess that's it. I, alright, I guess. Uh, I'm tempted not to sell my stuff only because I don't want to waste that much time, but I'll just do it. Just in case uh, I'll run into a good Pokemon or something. I'm in the wrong item bag. Um, Star piece. I already got a lot of money. See, if only, if only I had this amount of money when I was trying to, you know, buy coins for the slots because that invested my time okay so was, I guess it's just ultra balls I could only buy 14 what the seventeen thousand dollars okay I guess I'll buy 10 then I guess oh wait don't I have a max revive or something actually hang on let me sell that I could swear I had like another one of those items no am I crazy or something I got seven rare candies for some reason in my bag. I'll just stick with that, I guess. Alright. Um, it's already 12 minutes and I haven't done Jack Diddly Squad except for get an encounter. But we we'll might be able to get some other encounter in the Icefall Cave. So here we are. Alright, so maybe we could get an encounter here. I'm just gonna keep moving forward as this goes on. Um, chances are, I don't think I have, oh look, encounter time! I haven't caught a mill tank. It's level 45. I should be nervous. Okay, what should I use against you? I think I'm gonna use zero, so I can use the thick, the thick fat ability to my advantage. Oh jeez, body slam, the fat guys taught you well, oh my god. Absolutely right. <laughs> I'm like, maybe you can live a, a sheer cold. No, I need to be careful here. Miltank could have been our very first Pokemon caught um, if it uh, needed to. I'm kind of nervous though, because if it continues to roll out, I'm kind of screwed. So, if it freezes, best case scenario, if not, I don't know what exactly I could do. I'm just gonna try to throw a ball, actually. If it does two more rollouts, it might just kill zero. So I'm not gonna risk it. There we go, that was pretty simple. Alright. I already thought of a nickname, uh, because like when I was looking back on the episodes, I'm like, what should I call this thing? Its milk is packed with nutritious making the ultimate beverage for the sick or wary. It's 166 pounds. It's kind of lighter than what I expect to be a really fat cow to be. I mean, it's not that fat. Uh, okay, so it's a girl. I'll call you... Strawberry. It's a good nickname for a fat cow like you. The body set... body... god dang I can't say words right today. The body slam fat people taught you well in the ways of the body slam. Um, who knows, maybe we could use you. Strawberry. Strawberry. So we don't have a way to get up the waterfall, so I got no choice but to go over here. This. It's another Ultra Ball, so that, that'll be used for that. I'm going down. Where am I going to? Okay, well, we can go over here then. 
All right, so we could just go simple like that. Upper right. Up. <laughs> I'm expecting it to break immediately when I did that. Okay, wise choice. I'm gonna try to slide over here just to see what I could get. Um, absolutely nothing, apparently. What the heck is the point in that? I can't. Alright, I guess I'll just do that later then. Oh, I see. Let's try this one, the farther one. Is it just to get the item, possibly? Ah. Oh. Oh, I want to get the item. Hang on. Oh my gosh, it's forcing me that way. Okay, I'll just do it on my way back, because it's not that important. I hope! Bell sprout! Bell sprout! Alright. See, I'm so glad that the, uh... That they decided to make it so every time you catch a Pokemon it gives you experience. Because that would help a lot. It'll make things so much easier. And I'm surprised I still don't got an Ice Beam. I think it's because I used it... Who did I give it to? I thought I could swear I gave it to Classified. I guess I didn't. Oh, you know what it was? It was because of the, uh... It's because it was part of the Game Corner and I didn't want to do that over again. Okay, that makes sense. There's some items for us. And then we got Waterfall. Alright, let's try to get that item. Because I, I really, really want to buy it. So, to the right! To the right, to the... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I made a mistake. I was, think I was uh, thinking way too soon. It's up. It's clearly up. But, next time when we go through the ladder, it's the first one. Okay, I got it. I see, I see, I see. Let's go over here. And we got the Never Melt Ice. I guess it's not that worth it. Um, we could give it to, um, Zero when we got the chance. Alright, let's go over here. Actually, what would be the point of me doing that? <laughs> yeah, uh, there's no point of me doing this. Oh jeez, I'm stuck here, actually. I guess there is a point. Um, how did I do this? I went like that. Alright, let's just go over here. We need to get out of the place and give a waterfall. Uh, I guess I could give it to... I want to see the moves Dugong has. I know you have Ice Beam and Sheer Cold and all that. What's the other move you have? Because I'm thinking giving you a move. I mean, it's a pretty good move set though is the thing. I could get rid of... Uh... No, I don't know. Who knows? I don't think... Maybe Suikun can't even learn Waterfall. It has to be zero. No, it can, because I remember in Crystal in the past, I have taught Suikun Waterfall before, so it has to. Huh, that's interesting. Alright, well, let's uh, give... Wait, I keep thinking that the key pocket's to the right, but... Alright, let's teach it Waterfall. Okay, wait, uh... I might as well give it to Classified. Zero's move says alright. I mean, he doesn't really need Headbutt, but... I don't know. I'll just get rid of Gust, I guess. The day that I get Ice Beam, I'm teaching him to Suicune. I don't think anytime soon I'll be able to get Ice Beam, but it would help a lot. So we learned Waterfall, yeah! So let's go up the Waterfall. And we're going to the speed of light. Alright, so left or right, I'm guessing it's left. So what other Pokemon are in this place? Spinda! I got a shiny version of you in the past. I wish I could have uh, got it on screen instead of collecting the ashes of the sit sack. I know it just sounds random that I'm saying this. 
just in case for that person that never seen the Emerald series doesn't know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, there's a there was a period in Pokemon Emerald the Let's Play. I uh, I was collecting set for all the items, uh, you know, for the set sack, and. Uh, when I collect, every time I pass by a grass patch that's covered in soot and give it to the soot master, uh, the more likely you'll step across Pokemon like Spinda and Skarmory and, you know, all those Pokemon. And I ran into a shiny Spinda, which was cool. I, just, I wasn't recording even though I said I was going to at all times, but... I felt like I was wasting memory on my computer, and I was like, eh, well, there's no point. And the day that happened, of course, I get a shiny, and I'm like, dang it, I should have recorded, so I started recording immediately. And that was when uh, my roommates at the time was uh, going through the door, and I was like, alright, quick, get in the room so I can record. It was crazy. It was cray cray. But yeah. Who knows, maybe in the series, before it ends, we'll find a shiny. I just sure hope it's not a shiny Spinda. I don't want to see a shiny Spinda again. Because in the past, I saw another shiny Geodude, like the first time was like when I was playing Gold. Oh, I know, it's the latter. I'm all like, there's nothing here. <laughs> um, oh, I'm so glad that Melting was our encounter for this place. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I saw a Geodude, a shiny Geodude in gold version a long time ago. No, it was crystal version actually. Um, when I was much younger. And uh, I caught that Geodude and I called it bronze because he had like kind of a goldy bronze look to it. And later on when I was playing platinum for the first time I saw another shiny Geodude in the Hippopotas cave. But it's self-destructed, but I didn't really care because I already caught a shiny Jew, dude. But I was still excited, I was super happy, you know. Can I go through? Oh! <laughs> Jesus, there's a Kyogre here. So I saw Groudon and Kyogre. I don't think I saw a Rayquaza yet. That's interesting that it's here. Dude, imagine if there's a shiny Kyogre here. You have Ice Beam. This is a very threatening- oh my god! Yeah, he's level 53, I should be careful! Oh god, I need to be careful. Come on, Strength. Oh, this is actually dangerous. This is actually bad. Yeah, I need to run. I need to run. I can't risk it. Because he's going to live another strength, but the next Ice Beam sure as heck will kill me. And I don't want a dead goalie locks. Absolutely not. Okay, what's... Oh, no, that's just a quick exit. Ice Fall Cave! Oh, look! It's Lorelei. Keep your filthy hands off the Pokemon in this cave. Do as I say or you'll have to... Or you'll have me to answer to. Oh, shut it, lady, and leave it us. And leave us be, I can't read for squat. Don't let your glasses set get all steamed up. Crimson? What are you doing here? No, we can catch up later. Right now, I need your help. Help me kick these poachers out before they do anything else. They, they've been catching Pokemon here, then selling them off. Are you ready? You take that one, please. Which one? I guess that one, alright. I wasn't even walking. That, that was automatic. What? what? Who says we, can, we can't do what we want with the Pokemon we catch? Says me. I'm just kidding. I guess that's true, but you must be doing something wrong, right? Alright. Level 38 Mons, and I got Gray still leveling up. I kind of want to have Rocky some screen time, because... Rocky didn't see anything at all, but we'll see. It's mean looks. I can't. I got no choice but to stay. But I was going to anyway. So I should probably heal. That would be a good idea, don't you think? Don't you think so, Zubat? Um, let's just show Rocky off. I just want to have Rocky on screen. There he is, Rocky. 
You know, in a weird way, I always thought Rocky was like a different variation of Charizard. Like, the only difference is his jaw and coloration, and I guess body type. I always did like that episode when uh, Aerodactyl and Charizard fought. It was the day that Charmeleon evolved. It was pretty dope. Oh jeez, the person barrier <laughs> went to work. And I was literally early in the episode like, oh he's holding a person barrier for whatever reason. Goldilocks and the three bears. Oh, she ate the bear! I didn't even say it right, but oh well. Goldbat. Let's do one more Rocky showing. And uh, I need to come up with the intro for Rocky. I'll probably end up singing the Rocky Balboa song or something. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ba da 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 da. Hey guys! It's Goldbat. I always do that voice for Goldbat. This is what he looks like he's saying. It's like, hi! Ow! Alright. And that's it for that rocket grunt. We didn't plan on this. And Lorelei took on two. I mean, I'm the champion. I could take on two if I wanted to. Huh. <laughs> so despicably weak. You. Tell me. Where have you taken the captured Pokemon? I'm smashing your ring once and for all. Oh wow. No, no way! I'm not telling you that! If you won't confess, we'll deep freeze you. My Lapras is furious for what you've done to its friends. Go, Lapras! Ice Beam! Whoa, whoa, okay, I'll talk! The Pokemon are in the rocket warehouse on Five Island. There, I said it, we'll be going now. But I doubt you'll ever make it into the rocket warehouse. <laughs> Damn, yeah, she took on two. Crimson, thank you, but this is awful. I was born and raised here on, this, on these islands. I had no idea what those horrible criminals were loose here. Oh jeez. Are you gonna just still be here? You could have caught the Team Rocket people still. That's it. Alright. Are she gonna say the same thing? Alright, well... Apparently they're in Five Island. So we just need to go leave this cave quickly. Or else this Hoppet will kill us. Just look at his soulless eyes. See that? Um, I need to still be careful though. <laughs> I don't think Hoppet could actually kill a Goldilocks, but who knows? I don't want to try running one Graze out front. It's the thing, because then he'll uh, Hoppet won't let me. It outspeeds Goldilocks, which I guess makes sense. All right, let's leave this place if we can. I need to get the heck out of here. Uh, try to do quick escape. I just couldn't though. Nope. Flaffy. I don't think you can actually hurt uh, Gray. Okay, well I can just run. Oh yeah, it's level 25 actually. Never mind. Alright, so if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. You haven't considered subscribing yet. Please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games, and if you like playing video games, video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, do not forget to vote. In order to vote, all you have to do is leave uh, what game you would like me to play in the comment sections below in any of my videos. So, in the next episode, we're gonna go to Five Island and uh, try to go into the Rocket Warehouse. Even though we already took it down, which is a bit weird. But nonetheless, we're gonna do that and maybe on the way get the gemstone. And I need to still look into the uh, whole Pokemon egg thing. Either way, the White Tigers and Dragons to you, and you've been scarred by the night. I'm out! <laughs>